Hey, and welcome back, guys. This is just another episode of kind of just go over the cards. Um, this one is specifically Hitmonlee. We just dropped an episode of Hitmonchan. There was a hidden giveaway. I want to say it was totally hidden. It was just the giveaway was announced at the end. It wasn't put anywhere else in the video. Um, it was another, I believe, five series card giveaway. Vintage Pokemon 100 Brothers won that one. Um, so that's a whole other video. That was on Hitmonchan. This one's on Hitmonlee. So this is Hitmonlee, if you don't know, I think you do. He's been around for a long time, pretty much since Pokemon started. Um, he's one of the originals. Um, the one little fact, so I mentioned Hitmonchan was actually purposely a tribute to Jackie Chan. Well, Hitmonlee is actually purposely a tribute to uh, Bruce Lee. Um, this is actually true. This is the actual thing that uh, Pokemon, um, creators of Pokemon did. So this is Hitmonlee. So one of the things that I mentioned for uh, Hitmonchan, it felt like I had a ton of Hitmonchan cards, like um, when I played the game. Uh, and um, it seemed like it was really hard for me to get Hitmonlee. Um, even still, I really don't have a lot of Hitmonlees. Hitmonlees really don't go for a whole lot. Uh, what we're doing is we're just looking to see um, if there's any misprints between them. Um, a lot of these, most of these really aren't in great condition. Um, I, I don't know what, I mean, these aren't all mine. These are ones I've gotten through binder purchases and individual card buys and stuff like that here and there. And yeah, a lot of them aren't in great condition. Um, but once again, too, in, in comparison, like with Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, well, his stats are a little bit worse, in my opinion, uh, just for HP right off the bat. And, um... His attack is a little bit better. I think it's a little bit more damage than uh, Hitmonchan's attack. Um, and it only requires the same type of energy. While Hitmonchan's attack required a colorless with some fighting energy. Um, and But at least Hitmonchan had a direct attack up front. I think it was only one fighting energy. Uh, stretch Kick is two. And um, it, it can't even attack the Pokemon in front of you. Just the ones that are on the bench. So not fantastic, but in terms of, you know, a card, it's a decent card to have, um, just you don't have to involve, involve him in anything. Um, his background's pretty basic. He kind of shares the exact same background as Kabutops from this series. So it really seemed like they just kind of reprinted the background and then threw Hitmonlee on the art or as the art in the back. I'm not seeing any real misprints though here. One for um, any misprints with the symbol. The symbol looks fine, the HP looks fine, the name looks fine, there's no bleed, there's nothing in length or weight misprint, um, doesn't look like there's any uh, things on the bottom misprint, they're all there, the symbols, the years, the dates, so nothing there. So this is all the original ones, and these are the fossil, they didn't have a, a base set uh, Hitmonlee, which would have been cool. But they didn't do that. Um, not seeing any misprints here. Yep, just just going through them real quick. Just really wanted to, you know, since I mentioned Hitmonchan, did Hitmonchan, I really wanted to mention the um, the Hitmonlee fact. I think I mentioned it in the Hitmonchan video, but I wanted to do it also separately the Hitmonlee video. Um, and then we get into the non hollows but this one's first edition. This one I just happened to put in a top loader I guess really not in great condition like even the first edition one is kind of lacking um would have been nice if it was first edition hollow but it is what it is it's whatever um no misprint with the numbers here so that's a thing too sometimes you'll have the wrong numbers um it looks like they're all pretty good um and I don't have a lot to hit one lead. like that's those fossil ones and pretty much this one which I think is really cool because he's in the air mid kick he's clearly he, I like the Pokemon Pokeball background looks awesome and then I like how they do the lines for him flying through the air and it definitely looks like they changed his color unless he's you know just supposed to be a different one they ran into um, kind of funny uh, stretch tick is still his ability uh, 30 damage instead of 20 um, but Spiral Kick, his second ability is way, way weaker for this one, which is funny because newer cards tend to be way stronger. He's got some more HP, and Stretch Kick went a little bit up, but his his second ability is so much lower. Jeez. Um, and then 
Oh, still a tap stretch tick. That is an ongoing thing. Um, this one only does 10 damage. Uh, Mega Kick does 10 damage less, and his HP is the same. So this is actually a worse card. That's really crazy. So like in my opinion, this art and stuff is looks better. I really love how the the name is gold, the HP is gold. There's some hollow fill everywhere. Um, there's a Pokeball. It looks like the Pokeball bleeds out. I think that counts as bleed. You can see what I'm talking about. Because here's the bottom right near his foot. And you can see it, it, I think that counts as bleed, I think. I'm not fully certain. Um, with newer cards, it becomes weird what counts as what. Um, if you guys are still watching, the have reached in the video, it was very short. I don't have a lot of hit on these. Um, as I said, you know, in my, in my video, there's having to be a collector in terms of the fact that the cards pass through my hands, sometimes slowly, especially with the PSA, um, but not a collector. Also, if you're still watching, there's no giveaway for this one. I was just seeing who was paying attention to the other. Um, I will probably start doing things like that though to where my giveaways will be at the front, the middle, the end, somewhere three-fourths in, a whole separate episode, stuff like that. So you just gotta pay attention. Um, we are starting to have some train with the subs and train isn't like, it is continuing to build up a little bit. Um, uh, I don't run any other sort of social platform though, so it's it's all pretty much based off this and word of mouth from who y'all tell. Um, I'm working on getting some PSA grades. So the Blastoise is coming back. They did complete it today. Um, so make sure you still guess the grade on that on the original video where I sent them in. The video title should be my card's worth over $6,000, something like that. Um, winner of that will get like a, a base set um, water energy. So uh, if you want to win a base set card, that's a way to get a base set card. Um, we'll try and send one that should be at least PSA 8 or higher worthy. That may not sound like much, but um, those still go up in price. Now, if it was a shadowless energy, it'd be worth way more for sure. Uh, but hey, we're still trying to build up on the subs, we're still trying to build the channel. We're just trying to teach people how to buy and sell, what to look for, things that come through our hands, stuff like that. And um, of course, we frequent the giveaways quite a bit. Uh, we actually probably need to start entering into some to give ourselves some chance of some more stuff to win. Um, and then just trying to educate people on certain items, for example. You know, we had the, we went ahead and we bought one of the mystery power cubes. Um, we'll be getting some more items once we. Uh, do some more sales, waiting for that Charizard to sale that will really start to kick up the funds for um, what we buy and sell, some more binders probably. I'm always working deals with the binders. Um, I really like purchasing the binders myself, um, in person or off eBay. Um, in person has been a little bit better luck. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned, don't have a lot to talk about. Um, hopefully we'll post something good tomorrow maybe. Um, got some plans to get some stuff done tomorrow though so maybe not but um you know let me know still what you want to see giveaways things like that just communicate back and forth content guesses things like that we'll play guests at Ray with some more things we'll send in we're getting ready to send some more things in um it doesn't like the PSAs don't respond to me about sending 100 plus cards and that used to be a thing they do but because they're so swamped doesn't like they really do that anymore um so yeah just stay tuned thanks bye